today we're going to be going over the 10 players with the most kills ever in rise of kingdoms what's going on guys cheers now i actually had a lot of you guys asking me for this video ever since i posted my top 10 most powerful players video a couple of us like what a week or two ago and i didn't think the most kills video was as popular i mean if you just look at the views of the previous entries it seems like more people are interested in the more powerful players but a lot of you guys reached out directly to me and said hey you gotta update the most kills video so here it is ladies and gentlemen by your request the most kills players in rise of kingdoms if you guys enjoy this content make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it seriously helps out the channel a ton and if you're new here let me see that subscription down below so last time i made this video it was january 25th of 2022 so it's been a couple of months but it hasn't been crazy long so it'll be interesting to see how the numbers have changed if you guys want to compare it you could check out the previous video but without further ado let's jump right into the list coming in at number 10 is Alexander from Kingdom 1743 now this is a player that you guys are familiar with if you've seen the other videos in this series he is no stranger to being one of the most deadly warriors in rise of kingdoms and the fact is that number 10 is starting with over 20 billion kill points he has 20.6 billion kill points a majority of those kill points come in the form of tier 5 units 13.5 billion kill points from tier 5 and 7.3 billion kill points from tier four we could see 118 million power in the death blossom alliance currently holding the justice title very cool let's take a look there is no album here we could take a look at the highest power 258 million and 83 million dead units absolutely insane let's take a look at the commanders here it looks like we are using Attila Takeda is still possibly their rally combination interesting are we seeing a Gilga Esong rally combination out of Alexander very interesting stuff here they do not give us the opportunity to look at the talents so we don't have an idea of what exactly Alex is using those for chilling with the scorched earth achievement this is insane 1 billion units if you take a look here it's 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 ridiculous he's blown past that by a mile and he's rocking the Germany civilization coming in at number nine is everyone's favorite bunny in kingdom 1254 bunny is famous in rise of kingdoms for being an absolute savage on the battlefield and does not disappoint here in the top 10 rankings at 21.68 billion total kill points and boy is that a lot of tier five kill points baby that is insane even more tier five kill points than the previous one 15.7 billion tier five kill points and 5.8 billion kill points from tier four we could see rocking the ottoman empire civilization with 263 million power if we take a look highest power ever was 504 million ridiculous amount of deads here 182 million dead units that is insane take a look at the commander wall we see here we've got Bertrand interesting choice here for the rally we have Attila we have Takeda we have William so there's a lot of cavalry here out of Bunny's uh commander view as we can see also got a couple of things we don't really care about over there it doesn't matter we can't take a look at the talents though bunny doesn't want you knowing what he's rocking on that Attila Takeda or that Bertrand taking a look at the uh album here we've got oh god <laughs> is this TOS can I even say I, well let, let, it's, it's just sugar right it's just sugar or salt or whatever yeah I, I understand guys I'm not kidding rise of kingdoms is actually it's addicting it's literally as addicting as some of these substances here for some players it's dangerous boys okay play rise of kingdoms at your own risk let's take a look at this hall of heroes 49 million dead troops in a single kvk that is absolutely insane and look they are literally all tier five bunny did not use a single tier four unit in the entire kvk that is absolutely ridiculous and look at those archers oh my god dude that is, that's insane bunny an absolute legend and also a champion of olympia season two interesting stuff you don't see that very often because i don't think people really play 
uh the olympia game mode but hey whatever again scorched earth the only thing bunny cares about is that your units are dead and hey it, it is what it is okay if you see bunny you're just you're just gonna die and it's fine just accept it coming in at number eight is another familiar face on these lists and that is gt duck previously it translated to gt duck man but i'm just gonna go with gt duck we got the cute little side duck here okay sitting at 21.9 billion kill points taking a look at the breakdown we see similar to our boy bunny we got the duck over there which is more deadly the bunny or the duck looks like technically the duck is, is 300 million kill points higher that does come mostly in the form of t4 though so we see 15 billion kill points from tier 5 6.7 billion kill points from tier 4 also rocking the ottoman empire sitting with the king title sitting pretty we take a look here highest power ever is 823 million my god that is insane 163 million dead units absolutely ridiculous take a look at the commander view here we do have some oh my god that whole expert every time i see an expertise charlemagne i cry a little bit inside i really do i'm not gonna lie to you boys okay we got zhang yu and nevsky you know that's gonna be a deadly combination especially hitting them with the rallies we got guan yu for the health william with health and defense interesting choice there we love to see that let's take a look at the album and again we see the cars we see the fancy fanciness we see the flashiness we've seen this album before all this stuff is absolutely disgusting this is just absolutely insanity all of this stuff honestly i don't really care about that edward but everything else here is absolutely beautiful it's perfect we love it and the cars too boys oh my god this is the perfect profile we see coming in diamond three for olympia season two and the thing about uh gt duck is that he's in kingdom 1960 okay and gt leopard coming in here at 20.1 billion kill points just missed the top 10 list this the, the hey you guys almost had two players in the top 10 list and that's not even acknowledging the fact that like all of these guys have over 10 billion that's like actually insane dude it's actually insane this entire kingdom is filled with the most savage players absolutely insane so gt leopard honorable mention here is technically number 11 on the list here but kingdom 1960 rocking gt duck man sitting at a solid number eight let's move on number seven on the list is none other than wine lover from kingdom 1034 sitting at 22.04 billion kill points take a look at the breakdown we see a little bit more even than previous players uh he has 13.8 billion kill points in t5 and 7.8 billion kill points in t4 also rocking the ottoman empire so that is something that if you guys want to be absolute killers okay absolute savages looks like ottoman empire is probably the way to go taking a look at the commanders here we see nevsky we see gilga we see zhang we see guan Yu. these are the usual suspects that you will see if you're looking at a player who's got insane amounts of kills which i mean wine lover is it is what it is boys okay we got highest power ever is 450 million with 77.4 million dead troops so not nearly as many dead troops as we've seen from previous players on the list but the kill points don't lie baby the kill points don't lie that is an insane amount of kills here in rise of kingdoms and we've seen this uh profile here before wine lover is uh you know he's a man of his word okay he, li he likes wine it is what it is like what, what do you want from him okay he's gonna drink wine and he's gonna kill your troops and that's just like what do you you can't do anything about it like it is what it is okay so chilling in kingdom 1034 i gotta say man it's just it's insane uh stone three in olympia really i really didn't play it too much honestly probably played it more than me though so that's funny coming in at number six is none other than the infamous m f this player is in kingdom 1029 chilling with the arabia civilization and 22.5 billion kill points looking at that breakdown 15.4 billion kill points from tier 5 6.9 billion kill points from tier 4 in the peacekeepers alliance i always find that funny peacekeepers meaning he keeps the peace by making sure that anyone who raises their their troops in front of him just they just pass away basically so mf an absolute savage you've seen him on these lists before taking a look at the album we've seen these hall of heroes before 40 million 
dead troops in a single kvk this is that's uh, the same screenshot that's the breakdown every single unit was tier five every single one he didn't even send a tier one unit to get a rune and have it die like that was it it was just that was it uh 55 million dead troops and another kvk absolutely insane here we've got some t1 calves okay i see it i see you okay but mostly like that's just an insane amount of troops for a single kvk like it's actually ridiculous taking a look at the commander breakdown here we see saladin interesting choice zhang yu pakal zenobia so mf is doing a little bit of everything here okay rallying garrisoning just doing what needs to be done to make sure that your troops are dead taking a look at highest power ever 603 million down to 532 million right now i don't know if i said his power before and 189 million dead troops that is absolute warrior status right there that's the most we've seen so far in this video and we're only at number six guys if you made it this far so far into the video and you haven't dropped a thumbs up on it boys I, hey it really helps out the channel let's go ahead and see that thumbs up I mean you can't really dislike it right because YouTube go I went ahead and ruined that whole thing okay I mean you could I would just say probably don't you know moving on to the top five we have none other than Ahmad Aziz from Kingdom 1412 this player is another one of those just absolute savages and barely beats out MF in the kill point ranking right now sitting at 22.6 billion kill points 16 billion kill points from tier 5 6.3 billion kill points from tier four that is the most amount of tier five kill points we've seen all video rocking the Germany civilization with 262 million power currently holding the general title which I think is pretty uh pretty accurate there okay I think this, this guy's probably charging into war with the rest of the squad okay highest power ever 488 million with 114 million dead troops so you see a lot of you know if you look at a player like MF a lot of his kills probably come from rallying and garrisoning here obviously a mod disease total absolute savage and i'm not taking anything away from him but this is probably a little bit more of field fighting potentially out of a mod than if we look at a player like mf that's just speculation maybe a mod just has better trades i don't know okay i don't know but either way both these players pretty much neck and neck absolutely insane amounts of kills take a look at the album here we've seen this before on a mod's uh account here these are the pre kvk numbers just putting up numbers on the board absolute ridiculous um, oh my god dude oh my god dude what is going on here take a look at the commander view we do get to take a look uh at the commanders totally expertise everything here nevsky obviously zhang yu makes a lot of sense here we've got nebu we've got bertrand we've got uh, honda okay this is just insane stuff here seen a lot of bertrand in this video honestly uh i i don't feel like a lot of people are talking about bertrand because everyone's talking about nevsky but uh we're, we're seeing quite a quite a bit of these high tier players having an expertise to bertrand and honestly it's probably because it's a rally commander for cavalry and so people are just going to max it hoping that it's good you know what i'm saying or that maybe it's going to be used in a combo later down the line but either way bertrand is uh we're seeing a lot of that in this video we see scorched earth come up once again here in the achievement wall moving on to number four on the list we have none other than what google translate says is mad jacob in 24 11 this player sitting at a cool 22.7 billion kill points and you can see here ladies and gentlemen that the four five and six spots are all within like 200 million kill points of one another just neck and neck here across the board sitting at 121 million power we could take a look here that we've got 14.5 billion kill points from tier five and eight billion kill points from tier four choosing the France civilization the first time we're seeing that here in this video copper three for Olympia man these players I can't believe they even play the game mode to be honest with you guys it's shocking to me let's take a look in the more info section highest power ever 160 million with only 32 million dead units that is shockingly low for being at number four on the list here when you compare the lowest we've seen before this was like what 60 or 80 million so way fewer dead units here on this player but an impressive nonetheless number of kills out of mad Jacob all that means is that probably a lot of these kills are coming from open field fighting which makes sense because of the power difference right some of the other players we've seen on the list have 200 500 million power they've got the troops to lose in the rallies and in the garrisons mad Jacob is playing a little bit differently keeping all of his units in the open field and absolutely doing work 
when he is doing so taking a look in the album we've got nothing and the commander view shows us some interesting stuff these are some older commanders here we see two gold key commanders on the commander view for mad jacob is that accurate does he know that this exists still that is shocking and the fact is he's not using any uh sunduk or any golden gatherers over here i'm very confused there only 76 commanders owned rocking saladin alexander mehmed and charles martel very interesting stuff there i'm wondering if this is for his canyon and he's in an off season i don't know what's going on here i don't imagine he's open field fighting with like martel and mehmed at his power level but maybe he is i have no idea what the strategy is behind this player but what i do know is that he's sitting at number four in the entire game for the most amount of kill points which is absolutely insane moving on to the top three we have everybody's favorite player baba tc ataturk baby sitting at 23 billion kill points and separating himself from the pack of the four five and six slots who are neck and neck baba comes out just a bit above sitting at 23 billion with the breakdown looking like 16.8 billion kill points for tier five and six billion kill points from tier four also rocking the ottoman empire so that's something that a lot of these players are using right now so take note if you are aspiring to be a player like baba or some of the other insane players that we've seen on this list let's take a look at the more info section right now he has 1.1 billion power absolutely ridiculous uh not his highest power ever which was 1.23 billion power like oh my god 145 million dead troops and you could see here that baba is not afraid to throw those troops in the flag in the garrisons in the rallies it doesn't matter the troops that he is attacking are going to pass away if we take a look at his commander view here boo there's that nevsky baby we see nevsky Guan Yu, Trajan, and Gilgamesh. Some insane, insane account. Just like the, oh my God, dude. Baba's account is ridiculous. And he does share with us the talent builds that he's using. So right now, Nevsky rocking the entire skill tree absolutely ridiculous this is a very good build if what you're doing is uh, obviously focusing on shorter fights the most amount of rage possible and also canyon this is probably a good build except for maybe the march speed over here but honestly he's got to avoid the versatility tree because this is just garbage so he had to put the points somewhere i don't know man i don't know what it is uh possibly could have gone for naked rage instead but hey dude baba's account he he doesn't need help okay baba doesn't need help you could see here he's got pretty much the best of the best here when it comes to cavalry infantry and archers and leadership like it doesn't matter he's got all of it and you are going to pass away you're going to die okay you see bob on the battlefield and you better turn the other way and even if you do it probably doesn't matter because you're going to die anyway taking a look at the uh at the album here it looks like we've probably looked at baba's album like i don't know six seven times on this channel already this is all the same stuff that you have seen before and uh we got the suits we got the ducati we love to see it uh baba is truly a savage uh on the battlefield and makes his way into every one of these top 10 lists which is why probably for you guys he is one of if not the most favorite player here in rise of kingdoms truly a legend and also one of the people that wanted me to make this video so shout out to baba moving on to number two on the list of the players with the most kills in rise of kingdoms and we have uh this player keeps changing their name on me man and this time it's god's hard steamed buns brother if the buns are steamed they're supposed to be soft and moist i don't know what is going on and what is god doing with his buns boy i don't want to know what his buns are doing but one thing's for sure he's clapping your buns on the open field because he has 24.2 billion kill points what in the world oh oh what is this we see almost an even breakdown which is not something that we have seen before in this video 12.8 billion kill points from tier 5 and 11 billion kill points from tier four we have 154 million power right now what is this oh that's interesting theocrat that, i think that one's pretty rare to be honest with you guys rocking the france civilization we could take a look here highest power ever is 203 million and 69 million dead troops so certainly a respectable number of dead troops not even close to somebody like baba or mf or some of the other insane players we've seen on the list but definitely not the lowest we've seen either so pretty much right in the middle of the pack there uh for the number 
two player and what's interesting is if you guys remember this player used to be the number one player in previous uh, versions of this video so that's very interesting you got to think okay if this guy used to be one he's now number two who could possibly be number one but anyway uh god's hard steam bonds over here from kingdom 1545 let's take a look at the album let's see here oh my god okay that's not as many as some of the others we've seen but that's still a ridiculous amount of troops especially for your average player like that is that's more troops than they'll probably ever see on their account before they quit the game okay so we have still seen millions and millions of tier five units uh look at that trade okay that's that's some interesting stuff there we see it okay look at whoa man it's just it's insanity the number of kill points here i mean okay just to put it put this into perspective okay you guys you you watch chiskel okay you've probably seen a couple chiskel videos okay probably one of the best if not the best rise of kingdoms content creator and he's got like what nine or ten billion kill points and he is active boy he is active he's playing in every single war since the game pretty much started okay and he spends tens of thousands of dollars on the game he's openly stated his his uh his how much he's spending okay on his account uh and he again he's insanely respectable a savage on the battlefield and and this guy's got double more than double like 2.5 times uh almost his kill points like what actually insane but ladies and gentlemen uh while this player is in, in fact very very impressive he is not number one on the list ladies and gentlemen the number one player with the most amount of kills in all of rise of kingdoms history is currently none other than good father of kingdom 1556. some of you probably have guessed it okay good father has been in that number one spot before sitting uh, above the rest with 28.4 billion kill points absolutely ridiculous we see 20.5 billion just tier fives okay 20.5 billion kill points from just tier fives alone 7.9 billion kill points from tier four the most amount of tier five kill points that i've ever seen and is probably the highest in the entire game okay there's just there's just no way around it that's the most amount of tier five kills that any player has ever had okay sitting at 242 million power currently with the germany civilization good father used to have 512 million power which is absolutely insane with 145 million dead troops oh my god the amount of deads here it's just it's insane okay it's insane and i've seen i've seen the comments on previous videos no matter what the policies of kingdom 1556 are whether some players have to zero themselves on good father whatever the case might be okay whatever the case might be this is still ridiculous like it's still absolutely insane and the fact that he's got that many dead troops like no matter which way you slice it no matter how you cut it no matter how the chips fall okay good father's account is insane and he is one of the most savage players in rise of kingdoms and statistically the most amount of kills in the entire game and look even if the way he runs the kingdom is by saying you got to kill yourself on him that's a testament to how savage he is it's like if you're gonna die you're gonna die to me and me only and i think there's something to be said about that let's take a look at his commanders here he doesn't give us too much information but what we do see is a lot of the same suspects we've seen from other players here we see the guan yu the nevsky the gilga the nebu we see the, the archer combo here is insane and i'm sure the nevsky is paired with the zhang yu this is a player that you don't want to come across in the open field because the odds are that when you do you are going to die there will be a trail of blood behind you as uh as good father just cleans the floor with his enemies and uh his partners by his side in 1556 and i gotta say number two in 1556 is 19.8 billion so this entire kingdom is filled with absolute savages here and i gotta say you know this saz player is number 12 i believe on the top uh kills list so like this guy is no joke number two here almost made the video okay so we're seeing a bunch of insane players and this is another honorable mention uh we've got a kung fu panda here love to see it very cool stuff here uh from from this player but yes guys good father is it and he ended silver one in olympia i'm surprised good father would even touch uh olympia okay but here we are the album you know it i know it everyone knows it. this is the godfather of rise of kingdoms and it makes sense that he would be sitting atop the hierarchy of the most kills in the entire game but we will see in a couple of months i'm sure i will make a follow-up to this video and we'll see if good father retains his place as the most killing 
player in rise of kingdoms if you guys think that will be the case let me know in the comments section below do you think good father's gonna just hold that crown forever do you think baba's gonna catch up to him and be like yo boy this is this is my spot I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below if you made it all the way to the end of this video hopefully you've already dropped a thumbs up on it but if not go ahead and do that now smash that break my thumb okay just straight up break the thumb i'm ready for it i'll brace myself just click that button subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace